What's going on, everybody? I'm Cigar Show Tim. Welcome to another episode of Tobacco Talk, where every week I review cigar, give you my thoughts on it, flavor, draw, construction, burn, everything you want to know about, and, well, hopefully educate you a little bit in the process at the same time. If you enjoy the kind of content, make sure you click subscribe, ring that bell, and you'll get notified every time I put out a new video. So this week's cigar, as you can tell, I'm not in my studio. I'm in Big Bear, California, where it has snowed about a foot of snow in the last couple days here. It was only supposed to be a few inches, but it's been a foot of snow, and I wanted to see something. It's been said multiple times that when you smoke a cigar that's a lighter wrapper, that uh, it's not good in the cold or in the hot because they can split and crack. So I'm going to do a review this week on the CLE Corojo, but I'm also going to see how it does in the cold weather and determine whether or not you should smoke cigars in the snow. So, CLE Corojo. Let's light it up. All right, guys, welcome to another episode of Tobacco Talk. So let's get into this. I am going to cut and light my cigar. And I'm going to my Vertigo, perfect cut. And I've heard a lot about the CLE line, Christian Aroa, and what he's doing now. And so I wanted to check out this Corojo and see what it's like. I'll get into the uh, makeup of it and the blend and all that in the next segment. But I want to get this cut and lit and uh, get it going here. So let's toast her up. Okay, so right off the bat, obviously I'm not in my studio, there's going to be noises and airplanes and different things, because that's how it goes this week. So right off the first light, some breadiness, some creaminess in there, a little bit of baking spice. Alright guys, so evidently the camera cut out, so I don't know what happened but I've lit the scar and first initial notes when you light it you get some breadiness some toasted bread a little bit of baking spice like a cinnamon and uh, yeah that was pretty much it a little bit of toasted bread cracker some cinnamon some baking spice in there so I'm gonna come back at the end of the first third making sure everything works this time come back at the end of the first third and give my thoughts on the flavor the draw all the usual stuff but see how it's doing in the cold here obviously it's pretty cold here but see how it does does it crack does it split does it burn fine does it go out does it stay lit so i'll be back with you all at the end of the first third and we'll go from there be right back all right everybody back at the end of the first third on the cle corojo and a little bit on the uh, blend of it. It's a Honduran Puro. So it's got the signature CLE or Christian Rose signature Honduran Corojo wrapper on it. And then the binder and long fillers are all um, Honduran as well because it's a Puro. So in case you don't know, Puro means that the wrapper, binder, and filler are all from the same origin. So that's what the makeup of this cigar is. Now in terms of flavor, flavor notes on this are staying pretty much where they were. Retrohale gives you more of that savory spiciness to it, but it also really brings out that toasted bready note, which is really, really good and I'm enjoying. And so far in terms of it being so cold out here, uh, it is not affecting the experience, I mean, other than numb hands, I may have a space here, down here, full transparency. But, uh, but so far it hasn't split, it hasn't caused any problems. I mean, the burn, as you can see, as I was showing you at the beginning, the burn is definitely wavy. It is not perfectly straight, but it's not affecting the experience with the cigar overall. So I'm gonna continue smoking this down. I'll get to the second third, and then I'll come back with you all and let you know my thoughts and flavor and everything of the cigar then, and we will go from there. All right, be right back. 
All right, guys, back at the end of the second third. Woo, cold gust of wind. And the burn, let me show you, has actually corrected itself. I have not corrected it, touched it up, done anything with it at all. And it's doing well. I'm gonna tap it off before I ash all over myself. So flavors, retro hail on this is where this cigar shines. In the second third, that toasted bready note comes through so pronounced and so strong. There's a little bit of a pepper spice to it, but it's not crazy at all. But it's really, really good. As my band blows around here. There we go. But it's really good. The toasted bready note is there, like I said, there's a nuttiness that comes through. It's like a roasted nut, and it's really good. So if you're into good uh, roasted, toasted, whatever words I want to use for it, if you're into really good roasted nuts, uh, toasted bread, those notes in cigars, this Corojo absolutely is is hitting the mark with all of those. There's, like I said, there's a little bit of a uh, spicy note on the retro hail. It's, it's like a white pepper though. It's not crazy spicy. It's not overpowering. It's not going to burn your nostrils out, but it's really good. And in the snow, does this cigar so far perform well? I haven't had any issues with the draw. The burn did correct itself there. I just tapped it off. You can see how it's doing now. It's doing great. And it's doing well. It hasn't split. I haven't had any problems with it. And so I'm really enjoying this experience minus how cold it is being 27 degrees out right now. And for those of you that live where it gets even colder, I don't know how you do it. Hats off to you. But enjoying a cigar in the snow, there's something peaceful about it. There's something sitting out in nature, enjoying what God created. The beautiful trees, the snow, the breeze, everything that's out here. There's just this serenity calm piece about it that i'm really enjoying again minus the cold but i'm really enjoying it and the cigar is doing really well and smoke output is not lacking whatsoever so those are my thoughts on the second third i will come back to you at the end of the cigar and let you know my thoughts on smoking a cigar on this note and my final thoughts on the cigar you know here at tobacco talk the rating scale is either noteworthy or not. So I'll let you know whether this cigar is noteworthy or not when I come back. But until then, I'm gonna, I would say enjoy the cold, but I'm gonna enjoy the cigar out in the cold and I'll be right back with you. Be right back. All right, everybody, let's wrap up this review on the Cigars in the Snow with the Corojo from CLE, Christian Aroa. And as you can see, the burn, it's gotten a little bit wavy again. It's not too bad. And overall, it's performing well. So, my thoughts on cigars in the snow. Great if you love freezing your butt off. But if you're sitting around with a nice cup of maybe hot turbo jet coffee, or a choice beverage, or whatever it is, sitting around with <coughs> a group of friends that you uh, can enjoy a good time with a oh, fellowship great cigars then go for it if you've got a campfire that you can sit around and keep yourselves warm and enjoy a nice cigar out in the snow or in the, the cool of winter I think it's great this cigar has not split has not cracked has not had any of the issues that I personally have experienced in warmer weather but it's done really well so my thoughts uh, actually flavor notes on the final third the white pepper did ramp up a little bit more. The spicy notes did uh, continue. It's nowhere near spicery at all, but it's just a really good nutty, bready cigar that I've really enjoyed. It's good, it has not gone out. I haven't had any issues with the draw. The burn had the wave, it corrected itself. It's a little bit wavy again, but I haven't had to relight it. I haven't had any of the issues that I wondered if they would come up because it's so cold. And you wonder with the oils and the tobacco, are they gonna be too cold? How's that gonna perform? How's the draw gonna be? But it's done really well. So, no worthy or not. I think you guys have figured it out by now. I think this cigar is no worthy. I'm gonna look for more of these actually because I enjoyed it so much because it, it's a flavor notes that are right up my alley the nuttiness the toasted bread a little bit of white pepper a little bit of savory notes in there cinnamon like i had at the beginning good baking spice and it's been really good and you know when i smoke a cigar i want good smoke output this cigar absolutely provides that so i think that's going to do it for this week's edition of tobacco talk and just a little bit of fun being outside being outdoors being in the snow 
and uh, mixing it up a little bit. So I hope you enjoyed. If you've ever had cigars in the snow or freezing cold weather or in the pouring down rain or whatever it's been, leave me some comments down below. I'd love to know your thoughts on it. If you've had this CLE Corojo, I'd love to know your thoughts on that as well. Did you enjoy it? Does it uh, hit your palate? Did you, you know, gravitate towards it or the flavor notes that are in it? Or are you going to check it out because of what I've said and the flavor notes that I've picked up? Because remember, everything here is from my palate. It's my perspective. It's my thoughts. And it's the way that I enjoy and experience this cigar. But enjoy your cigar journey. That's going to do it for this week's edition of Tobacco Talk. I'm Cigar Show Tim. As always, I'll see you.